Hello beautiful family, Stephen here, Saturday the 4th of October, the year 2024 and I'm, I'm here with sister Natasha, she wants to remain anonymous and I respect that so the, this, you've seen the street before, we, we've been down the street quite quite a lot it's, it's better for me when I've got the smaller speaker because I, I don't have to exert my voice as, as much as these wide uh, streets but very windy here um, so I can't put the gospel tracks out but um, I've got these Bibles up there. Can't put the gospel tracks out because it's too windy. But I'm going to put this. I put this under there. It should stay there. This is selfie stick. And uh, uh, too much. Glory to God. Glory to God. God bless you, Leeds. We are here today to tell you the most important message in the world, the, the message of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to be saved, if you want to make it to heaven, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. We are certainly in the season for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, the trumpet blast of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be brought up together with the clouds to meet the Lord in the air in the rapture, and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus. And if you haven't believed on him, you'll be left behind to face the worst time in human history called Great Tribulation Apocalypse. Jesus said it would be a time so terrible, there's never been a time like it and it never will be again. And if you don't believe on Jesus now, you'll get left behind when the rapture happens, when Jesus takes all who have believed on him up to heaven to safety. And then seven year apocalypse period will begin when God will pour out his wrath and his judgments upon an unbelieving, God-hating, unrepenting world which has turned its back on the living God. God is calling all people everywhere to repent. He says in his word, return unto me and I will return unto you, says the Lord. God is just looking at your heart, not your performance. Will you believe, will you accept the free gift of God, which is eternal life through Jesus Christ, or will you reject him? I pray that you accept what the Lord Jesus did for you on that cross today. God bless you, thank you, sir. Jesus Christ is coming, time is almost up. Are you ready? Are you saved? That is, have you believed on the Lord Jesus? Because that's the only requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life. For your name to be written in the book of life, guaranteeing a place in heaven, is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You need saving. You need forgiveness of sin. Sin is the breaking of God's commandments. And the Bible tells us very clearly that we have all sinned and we all come short of the glory of God. The Bible says, though, that the payments, the wages of sin is death. That means hell. But the gift of God, the free gift of God, which he wants to give you, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everyone that believes, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, you can see them doing a, a march, a pro-Palestine march over there. Just thought I'd just show you that. Jesus Christ is coming, are you ready? Have you believed? Will you be left behind to face the worst time in human history, the apocalypse? There's only one requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life, for your name to be risen in this book of life, a guaranteed place in heaven, one requirement, one requirement only, and that is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. You need saving and forgiveness of sin. If you say that you've got no sin, if you say that you've not sinned, you're calling God a liar. Because his word says all have sinned and all come short of the glory of God. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus Christ is coming. Lay hold of your salvation and your eternal security by believing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everyone that believes. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done, 
Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Believe the gospel. The gospel of the Lord Jesus on that cross. Jesus died for all our sins. He shed his blood on that cross for the forgiveness of our lifetime of sin. He was buried on the third day. He rose again from the dead. And when you believe this, when you know that Jesus died for you on that cross, and you're not afraid or ashamed to say, I need you, Lord Jesus. I admit I'm a sinner in need of a saviour. And you believe in your heart that Jesus died for you and rose again from the dead, you will be saved. But Jesus said, except you repent, that is, except you change your mind and believe, you will all likewise perish, which means you'll land in hell, in outer darkness, where you'll be weeping and wailing and gnashing your teeth for eternity, utterly consumed with terrors in hell, because you rejected the free gift of God, which is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. But it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believes. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done, you can be saved if you will repent. That is, change your mind from your unbelief and believe on the Lord Jesus. What he did for us on that cross, you will be saved. Without him, you're going to hell. That's the truth. Jesus talked a lot about hell because he wanted to warn the people. God is love, but he's given you He's given you free will, he's given you a choice to accept or reject that free gift, which is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Reject him or accept him. Most people, unfortunately, only find out how real hell is when they land there. Out of darkness, where they are utterly consumed with terrors, because they rejected our Holy Father in heaven and his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He'll go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the devil, the God of this age, he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ is come that we might have life, and that we might have it more abundantly. The moment you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, that he died for you on that cross for all our sin and rose again from the dead, your name shall be written in the book of life in heaven. You'll be saved with everlasting life. You'll be sealed until the day of redemption. You'll be sanctified, set apart as God's own people. You'll be justified by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus shed his blood on that cross for all our sins. He was buried and he rose again on the third day as it is written. If you shall confess Jesus as Lord, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Yet, except you repent, you will all likewise perish and find yourself in hell. Heaven or hell? Hell is not a place where you'll be enjoying yourself, sinning as much as you like, like the media portrays. The media portrays hell as if it's a, a place where you're going to be partying and sinning and that. And No, hell is beneath the earth. This world is turning into hell, but no, hell is under the earth. Heaven, earth, and under the earth. And if you reject the Lord Jesus, you're going to hell. That's the truth. There's only one name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And you won't make it to heaven, but through the Lord Jesus Christ. There are many paths, the Bible says, in this life that seem right to men, but the ends thereof are of death. There's only one name, and there's only one way for you to be saved with everlasting life and guaranteed a place in heaven, and it is the Lord Jesus Christ. All these fake religions, they have get you straight down to hell. Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, witchcraft, these are not the way. These are not the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Repent, lead. Jesus Christ is coming. Are you ready? Are you saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. Just stop this one, guys, and, and start a new one. Love you all, family. Mockers and scoffers off the charts.